proud movement for the state as Rio Langdhar, a lady constable from Meghalaya, has been selected in the elite list of FIFA international referee from the country. She is among the four women referees selected from India alone. It was not easy for Rio to reach till this prestigious height. She had to go through a lot of difficulty. After the passing away of her parents, Rio was on the verge of giving up on being a top women referee. But in 2014, she inspired herself to achieve her dream. Despite facing various difficulties, Rio has always worked hard since then to reach this goal. In 2015, she came back stronger with the help of her family and friends. She had been to seven countries to officiate different matches. Her journey to become an international referee was not at all easy, but through her dedication and passion for it, she succeeded at last. Sharing her experience with Don Bosco Media Network, she said, Being a sports person will give us benefits in terms of physical health, mental health, and will free us from all bad habits, stress, and anxiety. We wish Rio good luck and that life would always smile upon her throughout her journey of life. I'm Rio Langdhan. Originally, I'm from West India Hills District, Jawai, and now I shifted here in Shillong because of my job. And since I was in school, during my school days, I used to be a player. I used to play sports like athletics, basketball, and football. And in 2009, <clears throat> I left my study. I just started to become a referee. One of my uh, secretary, general secretary in West India Hills is uh, Daniel Dan. He just invited me if I'm interested in this uh, course. So I just went there to join this course. And in, since in that same year, uh, Sir Madan Shampleng, he was our teacher as an instructor. He teaches us about the laws of the games and about how to do the fitness and also I feel it much interested in this field than to be a player because before when I was a player there was not much you know, football matches for the women so it's quite difficult for me to be part of the football team and I feel much interested to become a referee than to be a, a football referee and after that in 2010 again I have to do another exam which is a cat for, uh, category 4 and like a referee, we have uh, five part of exam. First, we have to pass the CAT 5, and then CAT 4, and then CAT 3, which was, that is the internal exam. We have to do it within our state only. And <clears throat> from there, when I passed, the, after completing the CAT 3, from my state, they select us to go to represent our state outside, to represent our state, to do the exam outside our state, which was held uh, in Gandhinagar. And I complete my exam in 2017 to be a national referee and when we pass the national referee then only we get a chance to do all the national level competition and after that they during all like they would take maybe five years or seven years from that year only they will select you how to become a FIFA referee and I was lucky enough that I didn't take too much time, the, few, the EIF didn't take too much time because we have less women referee at that time who passed the national referee, so they nominated me to be a FIFA referee in 2018. And in 2018, on the same year, they call us in, they call us in Malaysia to do another exam, which is uh, to become an AFC elite member. It's not like to become a FIFA referee, is, it's not enough for us to pass just like like how we do in our school. Once we become a graduate, it means we'll remain a gra graduate only. But in referee, we have to continue on doing the same exam. If like now, I have already com completed the FIFA referee in 2018, but again in 2019 also, I have to do the same exam. Up to date, I have done like uh, four exams to become, I mean to stay, to keep on remaining on the same portion. So as a referee, we have to be all, Every day we have to do practice and we have to be fit to become and to remain in the same stage. I'm working in police in police department, so it's quite difficult for me to manage in in both the field because you know as a referee we have to do lots of practice to remain fit, but I have to do duty as well. So it's quite difficult for me to face all these difficulties. Sometimes you know there are some people. Uh, who are not encourage me either in the sports department or in police department. So it's quite difficult for me to manage all these things. But somehow they are 
officers who support me, like Sir Kandia. When I passed my, when I passed my police, when I joined in the police department, he was like my father to me. When my parents already passed away, but I know him him since my childhood. So when I came back in Shillong, so he asked me whether you still want to continue to be a referee. I said yes, sir. If the ref, if the police department help me, then for sure I will try to be part of it. Then he asked me to do like he helped me. He guide me how to become a referee again and not to leave it just in the middle. So he's like he encouraged me a lot. And then I, after he commit, I mean after he <coughs> asked me how to do and when he gave me all these guidelines, I asked the Mikalia Football Association to ask a permission for me for either for practice or to go for matches. So when I get the permission, we used to apply to a commandant. Even sir, when Sir M. Kedekar was there and Sir um, A.R. Mautoa, Sir Debangshu and Madam Nungwa, they never used to say no, they support me from the police department. So I get encouragement from them, even from Sir Karshing as well. He is our DIG, he support me. He never used to like discourage me. He always asked me to keep it up and to keep on doing all this, all this stuff. Even from sports department, like from MFA, they support me. Even Shillong Sports Association, they support me. They they help me to give lots of matches in Shillong as well, so that I can improve my practical as well. And I, I'm feeling happy. Like from <coughs> even from MFA and the team of uh, Sir Wanshan Karkram, he support me when I went in 2012 to represent my my state. When I went for there for the first, it's the first course for women referee. So he he and his team he support me for the financial uh, support, like to buy a ticket for train and all. Because at that time, my parents already passed away, so I don't have any job to buy any tickets or anything. So he and his team he encouraged me, and they buy me all these things. So uh, from there only the AIFF came to know about me and all, even. After I left refereeing in 2012 and 13, up to 14, I left my refereeing career because of some issues I have, even in personal as well. In 2014, I went for police department, I went for training there, and again I came back in 2015 in uh, to be again a referee. At that time, I was facing a little bit. Even in 2015, when I came to join again, I faced a little bit of problems in some personal and as well as some like issue with my association. But then I have lots of friends who encourage me as well as my family. So I feel very happy that they support me a lot. So that's why from 2015, I didn't stop there. So I keep on continue till I become a FIFA referee up to this stage. Uh, since uh, 2018, I have been in seven countries to officiate the match, which is um, AFC level, and South level, BRICS tournament, and SEA Games. Uh, I have been in Bhutan, Nepal, Kyrgyzstan, Lebanon, South Africa, Vietnam, and Philippines. According to me, the experience which I get in India and outside, it's a little bit like it's uh, like in the first time it was very different but then when I keep on going every time it's quite I feel it like similar because we have nowadays we have uh, from India also we have AFC instructor so they also they are learning from there and me as well I'm learning a lot from them because in India before we don't have too much maybe we don't have uh, good instructor or it's not like about good instructor they are very good but we don't have a proper uh, way how to explain like I have seen in AFC when I go for internal international matches they used to explain us they by showing the videos and it's quite different how we heard and how we saw by a performance how we perform in the field and how it's quite different when you listen and when you saw by your own eyes so it's very interesting to see and the way they, they teach us outside and even here in India. So yeah, it's good to go outside. We can learn lots of things from there and we can teach as well the others here when we reach here. Even though we can't teach them by showing video, but I can share with them the experience which I got outside 
So it's quite good for me and even for my state if they take the advantage for these things. Um, I would like to encourage all the, the young ones and the youth as well. Uh, if you join in sports, you will get lots of benefits, like you will be f physically fit and as well as mentally fit. And even the parents also, you should allow your, uh, your kids to join in any kind of any sports. I won't say because I'm referee, so you can allow your, your kids to join in referee. But if you can allow them, it's good enough because you know from referee you can earn something as well. It's like a pattern job. Even if they are in, in college or in schools, they can join referee and they can officiate, they can earn something. Because in our referees, we have lots of students as well. After they finish, uh, like after completing their college, they can join or even their weekdays they join. And from there only they can get money to pay their, their college fees and even to buy lots of things for their own stuff. They don't need to ask from the parents as well. So it's like, uh, what to say, it's like a good habit for them as well. Because when you are in sports, all the bad habits of them, they, they can throw it away. So it's, I just want the parents as well to help their kids to encourage them to join in any kind of any sport. I would also like to request all the people, all the person who used to come to watch football because sometimes, you know, as a referee, we face lots of difficulties inside when we are in the ground because inside the ground, we have to give audition just like in a fraction of a second. It's quite difficult for us to see, like, not we are seeing in TV. In TV, you can see all the replay and all. So it's quite easy for people to judge us outside, but not as a referee when we are inside. Sometimes we are facing lots of difficulties, especially when we don't have too much time, if we don't have fitness as well, and if we don't know lots of the laws of the game. Or maybe we have some personal issues, we don't have too much time to take a rest and all so it's quite difficult for us to do the matches so I just want the people to uh, treat us as we are human beings we are not like a robot so they can blame us in whatever they saw inside the field like some of the people they used to say when their team lost they used to say oh the referee got paid from that team but it's not like that we just <coughs> do as well as how we used to do. It's the same thing. It's not like we get paid from the other team so that the team uh, get benefit. It's not like that. So my only request for the team is just to treat us like we are human beings. As you know, uh, maybe some of you know, some of you don't know about it. It's like a referee, usually we used to say it, it's a thankless job. You know when we do, when we referee, when we do lots of good things inside the field, nobody will remember us. But when we do one small mistake, and everybody will remember, even our name. Like example for me, it's not like this is the first time I pass as a FIFA referee. I was nominated in, since 2018, but most of the people they they don't remember me that I have already been in the FIFA panel. So I just want people to remember us, like how the good work we have done, to encourage all the referee and to teach us whether we have done it in a wrong way or in a bad way. Just encourage us so that you can remember, yeah, they are the referee who represent our state and who represent our country as well. I would like to express my gratitude to God. I also thank my family members, my parents who are already passed away, and my friends and all my colleagues. I also thank the police department, Mekhalia Football Association, Shillong Referees Society, Shillong Sports Association, West Sinjia District Association for supporting me till up to, up to date, till I reach up to this stage. Thank you.